Nate Lee here, and I had a request recently from KB for some swing licks. So uh, this will be the first of the swing lick fiddle videos that I've done, and if you all like them, I'll follow it up with some more stuff, maybe some of the fancy stuff that I just did a moment ago. Uh, so I'm going to start with showing you some really basic swing licks for beginners, and then something that's a little more advanced that you intermediate players and even advanced players will enjoy. And if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're watching on YouTube and click that like button for the YouTube algorithm and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure to follow this page, click the like button for the algorithm and share this video with your friends. All right, here we go. So we're going to be in the key of G and we're going to start with some really basic swing licks. They're going to be two note swing licks and it's going to sound like this. And those licks address the 1, 4, and 5 chords in the key of G. Now the chord progression we're going to be using for illustration purposes is the Foggy Mountain Special chord progression on Strum Machine. Uh, Strum Machine's really great. Uh, you'll get to see how that works in a minute if you've not seen it before. Um, now Strum Machine plays bluegrass rhythms, uh, and as far as I know it doesn't play swing rhythms yet. I wouldn't be surprised if they roll that out at some point. Uh, but it's the easiest way for me to play along with a backing track because there's only one of me. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's just jump in. We're going to start with the lick that goes with the G chord. And what you're going to do is slide into the B note on your A string. That's your first finger on the A string. Now play a G note on your D string. That's three on the D. And that's all you have to do to address the G chord. Now we're going to do it again. And when you put all that together, you've got your G lick. And in the Foggy Mountain Special chord progression, we're going to be using that a few times. Uh, so that's your first lick. Now when it goes to the C or the C7 chord, depending on which way your backup players or your strum machine are playing it, a uh, strum machine's got a C7 chord here, we're going to adjust only one note. Instead of sliding into B, the first finger of the A string, we're going to slide into B flat, which is the low one of the A string. Now there's not much room to slide, so you've got to start all the way up here at the nut and then slide in. So it's the low one on the A, B flat note, and then that same old three on the D, the G note. And that's your C lick, or your C7 lick. And we do that twice as well to make up a C lick. And we're going to use that more than once too, I believe. Uh, did we use it? Nope, nope, just that's going to only be one. All right. And then you're going to need a D lick as well. Your D lick is going to be completely different notes, but still only two notes. We're going to slide into the C note on the A string. And that's a low two on the A. And then you can play either fourth finger on the D, which is an A note, or you can play open A is fine too. And now you've got your D or a D7 lick. Just like that. Then we return to the G lick. Now the way it works is when the chord progression is being played, see if I can get that to focus, maybe, <laughs> no not really, I usually can, there we go, sort of, nope, alright, I give up, if you have Strum Machine you got to get on Strum Machine and look at this, uh, I have gotten it to focus before but no dice today, uh, so we are going to have four measures of G coming up, and there's also, it could be G7, depending on who's playing backup. That means we have time to play this pattern twice before it goes to the C chord. Then we have time to play the C chord pattern once. Back to G once. D chord pattern once. G chord pattern once. So that's G, G, C, G, D, G. Oops, I started with the wrong one. C, G, D, G. 
like that. Uh, so hopefully I didn't play the wrong one too many times earlier. Uh, do what I do what I say and not what I play in this case instead of the other way around. All right, so we're going to try it with Strum Machine now. So I'm going to just go ahead and start the track. And we're just going to jump in and play along with it. Oops. <laughs> All right, here we go. try a little bit faster. So that was 80 beats per minute. Let's go to 110. One, two, three, four. Alright, that should be good. Alright, here we go. So that's the beginning of your swing journey for those of you who are new to swing fiddling. Now here's a little bit more complicated pattern for you intermediate and advanced players out there. Uh, so I'm going to go through this one more quickly since you are intermediate and advanced players. And uh, I'll still tell you what all the notes are. So we're going to start out with a G lick and we're going to slide into the B note. That's sliding into one on the A. And we're going to slur, so we're going to let go and it becomes an A note. And then, how do I bow this? That's how. All right, so next we're going to have three notes on the up bow. That's going to be a G, an E, and a G. So that's three, one, three on the D string. Now this last bit is just the original G lick from the beginning of this video. And that's your lick. And we have time to do that twice. Now, to make it a C lick, we do exactly the same thing, but instead of sliding into B, the regular one, slide into B flat, the low one. That's your C lick. We go back to G. D lick, we're going to also only change one note. It's getting more jazzy here. We're using notes that mostly that aren't in the D chord. Uh, so we're going to slide into low two. That's a C note. Still going to slur into open A. Everything else is the same as before. Back to that low two, that C note. And I guess there's one note that's different. We're going to end on an A note. So a total of two notes that are different to make that D chord. Now for the last lick, let's go somewhere completely different. We're going to steal from Milk Cow Blues. So we play a B, that's a one. B flat, that's a low one, and that's going to be two up bows. Now open A, down bow. B flat, aka low one, up bow, and then back to the B, the one, on the down bow. So let's bring this down to 60 beats per minute. Up to one ten. And there you go. There's some swing stuff for all levels. I hope you enjoy that. If you have topic requests or questions, feel free to drop that in the comments. 
And of course, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel, click that uh, like button and the notification bell. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure to follow this page, click the like button and share this video with your friends. If you wanna try out Strum Machine, you can use my link, strummachine.com slash Nate. It's down there in the description. And you can get 30 days free of Strum Machine to see how you like it. I think you're going to want to keep it. I've been using it for years and I use it every day. It's pretty amazing. All right, everybody, I'll see you in future videos and uh, I'll take you out with a swing, swing lick. All right, bye everybody.